Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, so for today's video, I'm gonna do a, a part of my handbag collection and it's going to be over the color pink. So I've gathered all of my pink handbags and I'm gonna show you guys um, my entire like pink handbag collection. Um, I'm not gonna go like too in depth on each of these bags just because I feel like we'd be here all day and I don't want this video over like 15 minutes long. So I'm just gonna show you guys like the bag itself, a little bit about like the bag itself and then, um, yeah, just move on to the next one. So without any further ado, I'll go ahead and hop right in. And just for full disclosure, I do currently work for Coach as an SA. However, all the bags on my channel are from my own personal collection, and I'm just here to share with you guys my personal love for handbags. Also, if you guys like these kind of videos, um, please do consider liking and subscribing because all I do on my channel is just talk about handbags and stuff. So if you guys like handbags and stuff, um, please do consider liking and subscribing. And you can also follow me on Instagram too for more handbag related content. So when diving into this video, um, I'm just going to show you guys bags in like no general order. Um, I'm just going to pick up a pink bag and talk about it. Um, so there's really no order about this bag. I'll tell you guys like what my thoughts are on some of them if it like stands out to me. Um, but yeah, other than that, we'll go ahead and get started. So bag number one is a really cute bag and it is actually the Frame Satchel 23 in the color Blossom, I believe. And this is a super cute bag. Um, it is kind of like a large kiss lock like coin purse bag um just because it does like open that way up top here um but it is a very like simple design handbag there's not a ton of hardware on it at all i actually just added this bag chain um separately so it doesn't come with this bag chain um but it does have this really cool like brass metal detailing and then a little cute hang tag as well so there's that one Bag number two is going to be the Parker 18 bag and it has the border rivets detailing around it, which I think is so pretty. Um, and the color that this one is in is in the color Orchid. And as you can see, being part of the Parker 18 collection, it has this really cute little C turn lock here um, because this is a all leather style. And it also has a um, brass chain too that is um, like permanently attached to the bag, but you can definitely carry it as a crossbody or turn it into a shoulder bag as well by um, doubling up the strap like that. And I think this is such a cute little bag just for like going out and stuff. Um, it's really casual style, but I just like the fact that you can definitely dress this bag up and down. And I don't know, I think the little rivets detail too around the bag is super cute. And I also love the fact, too, that it came with, um, like, the leather hang tag, but also the really cute little um, T-Rose charm, too. So there's that one. Bag number three is going to be the Dinky Crossbody Bag. And this one I have here is in the color Dahlia with, like, the gunmetal hardware. Um, and the really cool thing about this bag, actually, is the rivets and the pins are, like, from two different places when I, like, traveled with my friends. So the rivets on the bag are actually from New York when my friends and I did like um, a friend's trip to New York City and we stayed for like a week. So that was pretty cool. And then the um, pins that are on the bag are actually from Chicago and we went there in 2019, I believe. Um, and I got these pins on here um, from like going to our first ever Twice concert. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I just think this bag is really cute um with the pins and the rivets on here and it has a great like meaningful story because um i got these with my friends and it was kind of fun so there's that one staying with the um smally crossbody theme i have this one here which is the cali crossbody bag and it's really cool like quilted design so as you can see it has like these vertical quilts and these um i guess like pyramid like or triangle like quilts throughout the bag which is really cool and here's what the back looks like it has all um back pockets and this one is just really cute because it's in like this really bright pink and then i love the other colors um that are in here as well on the front it has a cute little turn lock and then here's what it looks like on the inside um this bag here is more of like a wallet on chain style so you have card slots on this side here really like on the back of the bag you have like two compartments in a little zip section and it comes with a chain strap too so i think this bag is really cool as like kind of again like the parker 18 bag like really being able to dress it up and down um and yeah i just love like the lambskin leather too because it's like super soft on this bag so there's that one the next bag is going to be this one here, which is the Coach Spider 15 bag, and it is in the color Amaranth, I believe, and um, it is a really cute little bag, so it is basically the smallest of the entire Swagger collection when Coach had the Swagger bags. 
um, and it still has that really cool belting detail on the front here. Um, but on the 15 size, they don't work. It's just um, imaginary, so it's just like that. Um, it has the zip top closure as well, and it's actually a very spacious bag for how small this is. Um, it does fit a good amount of SLGs. And here's like the leather strap. And this one, I actually like to carry with a chain strap just because I feel like it does dress up the bag a bit. So I do always keep a little chain strap in here. Um, but it is super cute with its little top handles. And then on the back is what it looks like here. Um, but yeah, it is just a super cute little bag. And I do um, hope one day that Coach does bring this color back um, in their future collections because I think the shade of pink is really, really pretty. So yep, there is that one. The next bag is going to be this one here, which is the Hutton 18 bag, I believe. And this bag is super cute um, because it is obviously in a really fluffy pink shearling material. Um, and I per personally, I personally would classify this class oh my wow I like glitched out there um I personally would classify this bag as pink just because it does have a good amount of pink throughout the bag so it has the pink um shearling stripes here on the front and then on the sides as well it does have this really bright um pink leather as well and also a cute little hang tag um but yeah this bag is so so cute um I usually use this one in the fall and winter time just because of the material I feel like it's kind of strange using like a shearling bag in like spring or summer. Um, so this bag I do tend to use more in the fall and winter time and is super cute. Um, again, this is probably one of the smaller bags in my collection, but it still does hold a good amount of stuff. So yeah, there's that one. The next item is going to be the Hayden crossbody bag. And for me personally, I classify this as a handbag. Um, it kind of is like a wallet on chain. Um, but for coach, I think this is just classified as like a SLG or like a smaller crossbody bag. Um, that's not a handbag, um, but for my personal collection, I classify this as a handbag. Um, and I do consider this pink as well. Um, it is a very like faded blush color, as you can see. Um, but I will say in this particular lighting, it does look kind of orange. Um, so yeah, personally for me, in like real natural light, I classify this as pink. Um, but this bag is pretty cute. I bought this for traveling um, and for like easy packing when I do travel. Um, but I actually have not used it yet. As you can see, the price tag is still like hidden on the inside here. Um, but it is like really cute because it is, you know, just like a super simple like flap crossbody bag. It does have a good amount of space on the interior here for, you know, how compact the bag is. It has a little zip pocket and then card slots too. Um, so yeah, it is super cute and even features a back pocket too. So I think this is, these are like really nicely designed um, for how like small the bag is. So yeah, there's that. The next bag is going to be the Pillow Tabby 18 bag. And as you see, it is such a cute and adorable little handbag. Um, it is made from like super squishy Napa leather. And I just love this bag too because it has a really fun puffy hang tag as well with the overall design of the bag. Um, it is in the color Rouge with brass hardware. And I will say I've had this bag for about eight to seven months now, and I have not used this bag at all. I definitely bought this bag on impulse because I actually got it at 40% off um, last year during the craze of the Pillow Tabby um, 18 situation. So yeah, I um, actually haven't used this bag yet, so I feel really bad. Um, but that is totally okay because I'm going to give this bag to one of my friends, and I think she will like this bag a lot. Um, I feel like for me, this particular color is very much in line with her style versus mine. Um, I kind of wish this bag was maybe a brighter pink that I would, um, probably have used it by now, but I have not. Um, so yeah, um, instead of having this bag on my shelf, I'm going to give this bag to my friend and I feel like she'll like it more. So yeah, there's that one. The next bag is a bag I'm really excited to use and is this one here, which is the Coach Swinger bag and the signature jacquard material in the color taffy um, with brass hardware. And the reason why I'm really excited to use this bag again is because I just love this particular shade of pink and I also love the signature jacquard material as well. I think something about the very like tonal look of the signature jacquard is just really cute. Um, it's really easy to style too, just because the signature pattern on here is not as um, not, I wouldn't say aggressive, but it's not very, like, in your face, you know what I mean? Um, it's a little more muted and subdued, and I also love it, too, that the, um, bag itself does have a little bit of this, like, metallic, um, threading throughout the seas, too, so that's really cool. Plus, it's just one of a, 
like my favorite styles because it also comes with like the shoulder strap here that you can use um but i don't really use like the bag as a shoulder bag i usually just like hand hold it um but it also comes with a crossbody strap too which is actually what i usually use is the crossbody strap so yeah really excited to use this one um for this upcoming spring summer Next is a bag that is actually not from Coach, but it is still really cool nevertheless. And it is the Coach Kenzo Tally bag. Um, and it is, I want to say an older Kenzo bag. Um, they've recently changed creative directors in the past like couple of years. Um, so this bag I believe was discontinued, but you can definitely get these at a great price on like, I think it's um Saks Off Fifth will carry some of these and different color combinations and um the real real as well like the real real has this bag for like a fraction of the cost so if you're looking for the um kenzo tally bag i would say go on the real real and you can find them there um i want to say like the one i got here was maybe like 150 and it was also from the real real as well at the time um but yeah the bag itself is really cute um it has this really gorgeous glossy eyeball in like a combination of like this acrylic resin um, here and for the pupil I guess as well and then also this like silver hardware that's very high polish it says Kenzo Paris here on the top and it has a top handle and a longer shoulder strap as well um, I don't know where I put the shoulder strap um, but it is in the same like red color and the cool thing too is that when you open the bag um, there is like a little like clasp that is hidden on the inside um but as you can see you can like kind of hear it but when you open it it actually like releases like the pupil which i think is really cool and then the inside is actually very standard lining um just like that so it's like black on the inside which is like um one compartment so yeah the other thing too that i want to mention if i like forgot to mention it is it actually um was a gift for my friends um for my birthday so yeah this bag does hold a lot of sentimental value to me um i don't really use this bag very often but i do like to um look at it and preserve it um, because it was a birthday gift so i'm like one of those people that like to hold on to things um so it's really bad if it's like sentimental and i'm like oh do i get rid of it do i keep it i just usually keep it just like hide it in like a box or something um so yeah this is kind of like with this bag um i don't use it very often but um i do like to preserve it because it was a birthday gift for my friends so yeah Thank you to them. Next is going to be um, the Coach Kia Circle Bag. And as you can see by the name of the bag, it is a very circular bag. Um, it also is in the color rouge with brass hardware as well. Um, but what makes the bag really cool is number one, the Coach um, Leatherware text on the front of the bag is perforated into the leather, which I think is really cool. And the um, specific leather for this bag is like a um, pebble leather. And here's at the back of the bag, it's like it's very simple and plain. There's no back pocket. Um, but the other cool thing too is the bag itself does come with a really cute like web strap detailing um, that is really fun. So this one here is like in a rainbow color, but I have another one um, in white and that one is like blue with silver threading. So that's really cool. Um, so yeah, all the different like Kia bags um, will come with different bag straps. So I think it's really cool. And then here's what it looks like on the inside is also leather lined as well. And there is a little slip pocket. So yep. Yeah. There's that one. The next bag in my pink handbag collection is this one here, which is the Coach Hero bag in the color Petunia with brass hardware. Um, I did do a full review on this bag as well in the first impressions. So if you're interested in watching that, um, I'll link it above and you can watch that. Um, but this bag itself is really beautiful. I love the intensity of this color. It's a really bright, bright pink. Um, I also love too with this bag strap from a different bag I um, got. Um, but I think the canvas strap here with like the green text looks really cute against this bag um i also love it too because it has a really um cute top handle so um i'm somebody who loves a good top handle bag so yeah this bag is awesome so there's that the next bag is going to be the coach um slap saddle bag i believe and this one's really cool because of the french detailing on the bag it is in the color fuchsia which is one of my favorite colors from coach um, and as you can see, this bag is also embellished as well here on the flap with these really fun crystals. It has an oversized turn lock and the inside will be lined in suede. Um, I really don't use this bag very often because as you can see, it's a very flat handbag. Um, but I do like to look at it. Um, it is a really fun bag. And when I do want that extra little like fun in my outfit, I will use this bag because I just love the French detailing. So yeah.
Sticking um, with the French theme here, I do have this one with the really fun studded French detailing and the tea roses as well on it. Um, this is the Coach Dinkier crossbody bag in the color neon pink. So it is a really bright, fun pink handbag. Um, but what I really like most about it is um, the dinky bags have like the little kiss lock on the inside. This one also does have that really cute little kiss lock detail as well, but it's like super, super little. Um, so I think that's just like super duper cute that um, they still have the kiss lock detail here on the inside of this bag. Um, and just like the other fringe bag too, I really don't use it very often. Um, it's more of like a display handbag for me just because it is so pretty. Um, but it has a combination of leather and plastic tea roses on it, which I think is pretty cool. So there's that. Next is going to be the Rogue 25 in the color Fuchsia. This is probably one of my favorite rogues in my collection just because of the color of the bag. Um, I love the Fuchsia color of uh, this bag. It is so pretty. I love how bright and vibrant this um, particular shade of pink is too. And as you can see, this is not a very um, warm tone fuchsia. It's more of a cooler tone being blue based. Um, so I think it's really cool. It's paired with um, the gunmetal hardware and the inside is lined in this oxblood suede. So yeah, I think this bag is just beautiful. The next Rogue 25 is going to be this one here in the color bright pink um, with floral detailing on the bag itself. Um, so as you can see, there are beautiful um, prairie flowers that are embossed onto the bag. And you can kind of see that too on the flowers. There are this um, bow detailing that is like holding the flowers together. And there are glitter within like the bow detailing itself. So I think that's really cool. Um, and just like the other Rogue as well, it is going to be lined in the same oxblood lining. And this one is a older style of Rogue, so it did come with the extra little pink clochette. So there's that. So we're almost done, and this is the second to last pink bag in my collection. Um, this is the Rogue 25 in the color Peony with brass hardware. And this one I actually customized myself with these really pretty rivets on the front. Um, but, just, but just like the other Rogue handbags, um, it is going to be lined in oxblood suede as well. And it has like the same concept as any of the other Rogue bags. Um, but this one I just wasn't getting much use of at the time, so I decided to customize it. And after doing... Um, this detailing on the front of the bag here by myself. I have actually used it so much more. Um, so yeah, there's that. The last pink bag in my pink handbag collection is this one here, which is the Coach Bandit Hobo. Um, and this was definitely an impulse purchase as well. Um, it is just um, like the other rogue that I showed um, is in the color Peony. And I bought this bag thinking I would use it because it's like a large... Um, relaxed hobo shape um but I have really like soon figured out that I am somebody who's not really a big hobo person um I'm more of like a tote structured handbag kind of person so I really don't use this bag very often but um I do kind of use it sometimes when I'm in the mood for like a smushy hobo which is what this bag is so yeah it is in a really pretty peony pink color um, and it does have the um, pouch insert on the inside I have stuff of miscellaneous stuff on the inside to keep its shape um, but is also lined in a um, suede material as well so yeah there's that so that does it for today's video over my entire pink handbag collection um, if you guys have any questions about the bags because um, I know I went through them like really fast um, just let me know down in the comments below and I can try to help you out or you can also message me on Instagram as well I can try to help you out that way um, but if you guys did like today's video, please do consider liking and subscribing. And you can also follow me on Instagram too for more handbag related content. Um, other than that, guys, have a great rest of your day. Bye!